Hey, yo, what's swaggin' players? It's your boy Stax Montana, man, back out here on this NBA 2K18 My Career featuring the sixth god himself, Killer Cam Baker. Now, we just finished off the regular season and we accomplished something that no other team has accomplished before. We just broke the Warriors' regular season win record by one, okay? We finished off the season 73 and 8. And now that is our record. We do appreciate y'all holding on for it, holding on to it for a little hot second. But it's our record now, and this is not an attribute update. This is more of an end of the season update where you will find out all of the award winners, league leaders, and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? But the first. I want to stop off. A lot of people have been asking me about my pregame rituals, so I will show those right quick. Just in case you wanted to make the perfect exact replica cam, you can't have the official cam, but you can have that replica cam in your arsenal. So if you wanted to know what all my stuff, my pregame rituals and stuff like that, I got a whole bunch of handshakes, and of course I'm cooking these boys up. You got to cook them. You feel me? You got to start the game by cooking them. Now, after three-point celebration, I got the James Harden joint. Also got the Tolliver clap joint, you know what I'm saying? We celebrating down the court. I got to flex on these boys after a dunk. And then after you cook them in the pregame ritual, bro, you, you got to go ahead and eat them. And I'm not done eating either. I'm still eating, bro. For my two after twos, bro, I got the, I got the brewer eating still. I'm getting super hyped for the M ones. I also got the Iman Shumpert hold my phone joint. I thought that one was pretty dope. And then after a block, I'm right back to flexing on these boys. Listen, you can never flex enough. Now moving forward, I'm going to show you guys my shots right quick. I do have a custom jumper. If you want to know what it is, click the link down below in the description. It will take you to a video that will tell you exactly what my jump shot is, but I do have a custom jumper. I got free throw 50. That's the one I had last year, so I just kept it, you know what I'm saying, still rocking with free throw 50. Got them athletic pull-ups, you feel me, and the athletic too, actually. And I felt like this one was pretty dope, you know what I'm saying? Remind me of Kobe. I'm trying to be Kobe a little bit. Lance Stevenson spin jumpers. I had those for a while too. And then Hop Jumper 12, I found this one last year and I just kept it. Post fadeaway, I got that on Michael Jordan. And then the rest of my post stuff is really just default. I didn't even change any of it. So yeah, that's pretty much what that is. We're gonna move over to my dribble moves right quick before we move forward into uh, the awards and stuff like that. I got the moving crossover six. Pro 6, actually, behind the back, Pro 6, moving spins, Pro 6, and then I got the moving hesitation, Pro 6, then I got them uh, rhythm dribbles, them elite rhythm dribbles, elite 26, um, size up packages, Pro 3, and we're going to keep it moving, you know what I'm saying, we got the uh, size up hesitation combos, LeBron James, size up crossover combos, Allen Iverson, size up between the leg combos, Allen Iverson, and then behind the back of Jamal Crawford. For my layups, I'm rocking with this tank layup. I just feel like this one is the best for my archetype, my play style, and my position. So I got that tank layup. I got the Paul George dunk package, the LeBron James dunk package, Dominique Wilkins dunk package, the Kobe Bryant dunk package. You feel me? I got that Vince Carter dunk package. I'm dunking like crazy, by the way. Got that Russell Westbrook and that Blake Griffin dunk package. And then moving forward, I ain't got no more down there. But we are going to move forward to these alley-oops. And I got alley-oop one. And of course, I'm rocking with alley-oop two. So I got all alley-oops. And then I also got the contact dunks equipped. Dunking on this man, Tyler Joe. Hassan Whiteside get dunked on. Oh, going Dragic get dunked on. Oh, the whole squad is getting dunked on right now. It's crazy. Now we're going to move over to my badges. I did max out every single badge I have. Difficult Shots Hall of Fame, Tyler Scorer Hall of Fame, Free Throw Ace on go, Glue Hands on go, Mid Range Dead Eye on go, Quick Reflexes on go, Teardropper on go, Acrobat on silver. We're going to start moving into the silver badges. Ankle Break on silver, Break Starter. And I cannot wait till I get 99, bro. Dimer on silver, Flashy Pass on silver, because all of these badges are going to start to be go. Lob City Pass on silver, One Man Fast Break, Pick and Roll Maestro, Relentless Finisher, Charge card um, on bronze corner specialist defensive stopper uh drop stepper gym rat i got that badge when i hit 92 overall lob city finisher pick and roller post spin technician up and under specialist all on bronze alpha dog clutch performer enforcer expressive hearted microwave on court coach that's a fire badge right there you gotta get it if you ain't got it gotta go ahead and get it spark plug as well and then we're gonna go on to my uh league averages i averaged 
20, I mean, 38.3 points per game this season. Almost 14 rebounds. I averaged 13.9. I averaged 13 assists as well. Looking like Russell Westbrook averaging his triple double this season. 2.8 steals, 1.1 block, and them turnovers. Yeah, that's the skip over the turnovers. Shooting 64% from the field, 45% from three, and 90% from the free throw line. I had a legend, Derry season. Now moving forward. The league leaders in points. I got the scoring title. Your boy been putting up these buckets. My 38.3 points per game led the league in points. Uh, I also led the league in rebounds with uh, 13.9. And you see Hassan Whiteside last year had it, but I came to the team. And now I'm leading the league in rebounds. You feel me? The Miami Heat is doing something on the boards. Uh, I lead the league in assists as well, 13 assists per game. And I also lead the league in steals, 2.8 steals per game. Now, let's see if I can get it in blocks. No way. Only average 1.1 block per game. And Miles Turner, he came through with two and a half blocks per game to lead the league in that. And then DeMar DeRozan leads the league in minutes per game. I guess that didn't amount to much because you ain't lead the league in nothing else. You've been in the court longer than everybody. And when did Luol Deng lead the... I, I mean, I see when, but... I, Luol Deng, really? Like, there was a time where Luol Deng led the league in minutes. Wow. Um, anyway, we're going to the guys that made it to the Hall of Fame this year. Tracy McGrady, George McGinnis. I'm not really sure who that is, but I definitely know the GOAT T-Mac. Tracy McGrady, he's going to the Hall of Fame this year. Shout out to T-Mac, man. You did your thing. You didn't win a ring. But, you know, you, you did your thing. Um, going forward, I'm just going to show you guys every team in the league what record they finished with. And the Sixers, they came through this season, 46 and 38, 44 and 38, uh, 32 and 50 for the Bulls. And, bro, yeah, the Bulls and the Bulls like the Celtics. They struggled this year. The first season with having Kyrie in the lineup. Uh, Atlanta Hawks was trash, of course. And look at our record. That's 74. They, oh, oh, my God, bro. Yeah, we came through with a fire record. The Knicks made the playoffs with that trash record. The, oh, my God. There's a lot of trash teams in the league this year. As you can see, oh, my God, look at the Nets. Did you see the Nets 22 and 60, bro? They got to get it together. The Pelicans did their thing this season. Detroit did not. Look at this. 40 and 42. How you lead the league in, in minutes and your team still go 40 and 42, bro? You slack. Oh, my God. 21 and 61. I think the Suns had the worst record in the league. 21 and 61 record. That is horrible. And then here we go with Washington to wrap it right on up. Now let's get to the end of season awards. Your boy won the MVP award. And I don't know why the joint didn't pop up on the screen like you usually do, like it did last year. It pops up on the screen right before you start your next game, but it's all good because you can see right here, your boy is the MVP, the most valuable player in the league. I went off, y'all see my averages. There was no way I wasn't winning MVP. Then we're gonna move forward to rookie of the year. Your boy also got rookie of the year. And if you look at all of the former Rookie of the Years, man, there's a lot of great players. Derrick Rose, Blake Griffin, Kyrie, Damian Lillard, um, uh, uh, Cat. You know, there's a lot of guys up there. Um, six Man of the Year, Rudy Gay for the Spurs. He came through one six man, holding it down Defensive Player of the Year, bro. Let me tell you about this. I love winning Defensive Player of the Year, man, because I feel like it actually takes effort to win that award. Like MVP, you can score 50 points per game and win MVP. But Defensive Player of the Year, you got to actually show effort to win that award. And your boy actually came out here and won it once again. Most Improved Player, CJ McCollum from Portland. He won that Most Improved Player. Now let's go into the All-NBA teams, All-NBA first team. We got Russell Westbrook, Steph Curry, the sixth guy, LeBron James and DeMarcus Cousins. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to All-NBA second team, James Harden, Damian Lillard, Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, and Carl Anthony Towns wraps up that squad. Then we move on, All-NBA third team, we got Chris Paul, Kyle Lowry, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and Marcus All. Let me know down below in the comments what team you think will win if we actually play the game. Now, All-Defensive first team, Andre Drummond, Anthony Davis, the sixth guy, Chris Paul, and Russell Westbrook, All-Defensive second team. We got to have that man John Wall on his team, uh, Jimmy Butler, Draymond Green, LeBron James, and Rudy Gobert knocks out the rest of the defensive, all defensive teams. Moving on, all uh, rookie first team, the sixth guy, bro. I had to come through and get and lead this team, you feel me? Alonzo Ball, Mark Foles, Ben Simmons, and that dude right there. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name, but we're going to move forward. All rookie second team, Jason Tatum, Josh Jackson, John Collins, Bogdan Bogdanovich, and Dennis Smith Jr. wraps it up for the rookies. 
And then we're going to move forward and get the coach of the year. My coach, my guy, Eric Spolstra. He never won one before. I thought he was going to win one with the Heat. He never won it, but Eric Spolstra is the coach of the year. Now moving on to the playoff tree. And one of the matchups that, 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 that gets me most interested is that Warriors versus Rockets matchup. That could be a crazy one. I've got that one going to game six, but the Warriors winning it in game six. Pelicans are back in the playoffs. It's good to see those guys. Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins back in the playoffs. And I got them guys actually sweeping the Jazz, bro. I got them sweeping the Jazz. Jazz won't get one win in this series. I got them going on to face the Warriors in the second round of the playoffs. The Spurs are also going to sweep the Clippers. And then I got the Thunder sweeping the Nuggets as well. And then if you move on from that series... I got Golden State beating the Pelicans in like five. Then I got, uh, I actually got the, the Thunder beating the Spurs in six. I just feel like they're going to outrun them. I got to beat them in six. And then I got the Warriors beating the Thunder in five or six games. They go on to the finals. Now let's go to the Eastern Conference. And then we might sweep the Knicks. Actually, we've been having some pretty good games against the Knicks. So I say the Knicks will win one. We'll beat the Knicks in five. I got Milwaukee beating Philly, even though Philly, Philly's still a young team. So they got time. So I got Milwaukee beating them in five or six games. Then I got the Cavs sweeping Toronto. Then I got the, the Wizards beating the Celtics. Because the Celtics in my, my career are lacking right now. They're slacking. They're the seventh seed, bro. So I don't know how many games it's going to take for them to beat them, but I got them beating them. And then we got the uh, Wizards versus uh, Cavs. I got the Cavs winning like five or six games, probably five. They go on to the Eastern Conference Finals. If we go up against the Bucks, I got the us actually beating the Bucks in probably five games again. And then we're going to play the Cavs in the Eastern Conference Finals. And then we we might have to go ahead and sweep them Cavs, and I, I don't know. We might we might beat them in five five games as well. You know, I got confidence in my guys. And then we're gonna go to the finals. We're gonna go up against the Golden State Warriors, and I feel like we might beat the Warriors in five games as well. So I feel like all our series are gonna be five game series with us taking the W. Let me know down below in the comments what you think this playoff tree gonna play out like. But hey, if this is your first time watching the Stacks More Antenna video, man, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. You're not gonna wanna miss the playoffs, bro. The playoffs coming real soon probably tomorrow but uh yeah make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it and you already know how we do on our videos bro if i make this shot from right here everybody owe your boy a dollar let me throw it up and y'all got lucky but i am out thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the playoffs coming real soon let's go